Hello, and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to be creating an application load balancer for our project. Before we create our application load balancer, let's launch two EC2 instances in the private subnet. So under services, under compute, I'm going to select EC2. I'm going to launch a new instance. It is going to be Amazon Linux AMI. It is going to be T2 Micro. I'll click Next. On that network, I'm going to put it in the right VPC, which is my Jupyter VPC. For the subnet, I'm going to select Private Subnet 1, Web Tier. Then I'll scroll down. On that IAM, I'm going to select the drop down and select my S3 role. And I'll scroll down again. On that user data, we are going to add this script here. And this script is just doing some things like changing to root, downloading security patches, and it is going to install your Apache web server. It's going to change your directory to the HTML directory, and it is going to download our file from the S3 bucket. Then it is going to start the service. Before you copy this script in here, make sure you change this name to the name of your S3 bucket. So I'm just going to open the S3 service in a new tab. This is my bucket for this project. It is the Jupyter bucket. I'll select that bucket. And the name of that bucket is here. So I'm just going to copy it. Right click, copy. Going to open my notepad and paste it there. So once you copy your bucket name in there, copy everything. I'm going to go to my EC2 and paste it in here. I'm going to click next to add storage. Click next. I'm going to add a tag. I'll give it a name and I'll call it server1a. I'm going to click next to configure security group. I'm going to select an existing security group. We are going to select our web server security group. Then click next to review and launch and launch your EC2 instance. We are going to select our existing key pair, acknowledge and launch instance. We are going to view that instance. Let's launch our second EC2 instance in the second private subnet. I'll click launch instance. It's going to be Amazon Linux AMI. It's going to be T2 Micro. On that network, I'll put it in the right VPC. For subnet, this time I want to put it in the private subnet too, in the USS 1B. Now scroll down. On that IAM, I'm going to select my S3 row. I'll scroll down. On that user data, I'm going to paste my script in there. I'm going to copy this and paste it in there. Click next to add storage. Click next to add tag. Going to add a tag. Give it a name and I'll call it server1b. Then I'll click next for security group. I'll select the existing security group. And in here, I'm going to select the web server security group. Click next to review and launch. And launch your EC2 instance. Select the key pair we created, acknowledge and launch instance. And view instances. Then while that instance is running, we can go and launch our application load balancer. To launch our application load balancer, while you are still in the EC2 console, come down, select load balancer, then click create load balancer. It is going to be an application load balancer. Click create. Let's give it a name. I'm going to call it Jupyter application load balancer. It is going to be internet facing and IPv4. On that listener, for now, we are only going to configure the HTTP listener. When we create our certificate from AWS certificate manager, then we will configure the HTTPS listener. For now, let's just leave it on HTTP. Then under Availability Zone, let's click on the drop down and select the right VPC. And for the Availability Zone, 
we are going to select US is 1A and US is 1B. Under US is 1A, we are going to put it in the public subnet 1. Under US is 1B, we are going to put it in the public subnet 2. Remember, application load balancer always has to be in the public subnets. Then we are going to go down and click next to configure security groups. And this is just giving you a warning that you didn't configure an HTTPS listener. We are going to do that later on, but just click next. On the security group, we are going to select an existing security group. Uncheck this default and select the security group for your application load balancer. Click next to configure routing. And on that target group, we are going to create a new target group. I'll call it my Jupyter servers. And on that target type, it is going to be instance. Under the protocol, it is going to be HTTP on port 80. For the health checks, we are going to leave it at HTTP. And for the path, what the path is saying is that the application load balancer is going to look for a file on your EC2 instance to determine whether those instances are healthy. So let me minimize this. For our Jupyter project, we have a index.html file and we can tell our application load balancer to look for this file to determine if our EC2 instance is healthy. Going to close this and go back in here. So for this part, I'm going to type index.html. And once you type index.html in here, click next to register target. We have our two EC2 instance running. We are going to select those two EC2 instance and click add to register and click next to review. Review everything and click create. And I'm going to close this. It is now provisioning our application load balancer. Let's wait for the state to change to available. And once our application load balancer is available, we can copy the DNS name for our application load balancer and we should be able to access our website from the DNS name of our application load balancer. Our application load balancer is now active. Let's copy the DNS name. Open a new tab and paste that DNS name in there. And press enter. And now you can see that we are accessing our website from our application load balancer's DNS name. This means that we have configured everything correctly. In the next lecture, we are going to register a domain name in Route 53. Then we are going to point this application load balancer to that domain name. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.